what's up mga chimming? It's your boy Sir Zello once again here in the Chemistry Laboratory 2. So at this juncture, no, we've asked you to draw and sketch the different laboratory apparatuses and name them, no? some uh, ask you to identify the, their functions. At this moment, we are going to show you the actual photos, no? the actual real thing inside the laboratory. Without further ado, let's transform! Alright, what's up mga Chimex? So we'll start with our different glasswares. So here you have an alcohol lamp. This is what we usually use in uh, getting a small amount of temperature or using uh, in heating some liquids or solids. Uh, usually sa mga test tube. To avoid soot, alcohol yung ginagamit natin because it's a clean gas. So that's so maitim. I don't know what happened here. But if it's a pure alcohol, yan, alcohol lamp na wala ng alcohol, siguro dahil sa pandemic, diba? Eh, inubos na natin. Bato yun ang mga jokes, Mr. Jello. So let me place this back. So this is your alcohol lamp. This is what we usually use kapag kailangan natin ng small amount of flame in a short period of time. We also have here the distilling flask. So ito, for distillation process, along with no, the condenser. So, ito ang condenser. It looks like a gun and uh, may adapter. Uh, silencer. So, so, these are all connected. Later on, so in our next videos, I'll show you how to assemble the condensation setup. And, yan. Ito naman, uh, for sure you are all familiar with this one because you have sketched this already. This is a separatory panel. So, kung ayaw mo na sa X mo, place your X here and dito ka. <laughs> Separate. Hi! Okay. And we have here, what we have here? This one, uh, the magic wand. Uh, kidding aside, this is a steering rod. So we use this to guide the flow of the liquid or to steer or mix some liquid. Well, uh, kung mayaman-yaman ka, bumili ka nito, diba? Tapos pag magtitimpla ka ng kape sa coffee shop, lalabas mo. So shy, very scientist, very STEM. They're using steering rod to steer. And we have here the pipette. So this is what we use to get some liquid no, with the help of rubber aspirator. I'll, I'll show you how naman soon kung paano to ginagamit with your uh, thumb and the rubber aspirator. And then next, we have here um, thermometer. A room thermometer in particular, so nakasil pa siya. So for sure you are all familiar with a thermo with the thermometer. And here we have the hydrochloric acid. So no, uh, the equipment is the reagent bottle. So we use this to contain or to store different um, liquids, no chemicals in particular. Next here we have no, graduated cylinders in different sizes. So, ito, graduate ng high school. Ito, graduate na ng college. <laughs> so, alay. Bado yun. And so, we use that to measure the volume of liquid and irregular solid. Diba? We place some irregular solid there. And using the Eureka process, diba? I found it, I found it. Or the water distillation, uh, water displacement method. And we can get it. And then, we have here the filtering flask. So it's, it looks like an Erlenmeyer flask with a hole here. So this is your filtering flask. So remember the differences. So sunod -sunod din na natin. This is a Florence flask na mat mataba. This is a Florence flask na mapayat. So tall and thin, thick, uh, short but thick. So these are your different flasks. So another example of yan, si, Ma si Papa, si Mama, si Anak. <laughs> Lawrence flask. And here again, as I was saying, the Erlenmeyer flask. Filtering flask, Erlenmeyer flask. Filtering flask, Erlenmeyer flask. So don't get confused because sometimes I do get confused. So, mahirap pag nakakonfuse tayo lahat na sa mga feelings natin. And a small no, baby Erlenmeyer flask. So si Erlenmeyer na to. Charot. Dudu yung talaga Sir Zelo. We also have here na no, the spot, the watch glass. Yan. Yes. Watch glass and the spot dish. So sometimes sa pagpapalit ka sila. So we place here some, alimbawa, uh, for biology or for microscope. Uh, if we were to use microscope, we place our things here. The spot here. By, by the 
him. As dito, spot dish naman. So, very similar uh, role nila. And then, we have here the glass panel. So, imbudo. Na social lang. Kasi mayaman ang atin ngayon. We use glass. And again, to avoid contamination, we don't use plastic. Ayaw natin sa mga plastic. Si Papa test tube at si Baby test tube. Yan. So, this is what we are all familiar with. And then, finally, we have our beakers. The little ones, the big ones, and we have uh, 50 ml, we have 100 ml, 500 ml. So these are your glassers, and finally, udog ng sinap na, yay! <laughs> Sarot. This is our non tawag dito condenser. <laughs> Hindi mali. Kalimutan ko. Uh, Bira kasi kung ginagamit uh, to dry some things. This is your I forget the name. 3, 2, 1. Comment down below kung ano pangalan nito. Nakalimutan ko. Nasa tip of my tongue na. This is your... Yan. Basta. So this is your task. I know this, pero ayaw mong tumingin sa notes. So put it in the comment section below to check if you're watching. So what is the name of this blaster? So these are your blasters. So now, let's proceed to our ceramics. So, kaya ito nung pinagagawa ni Hechimic Jello. We have a few ceramics here. And if you've commented desiccator a while ago for our glassware, so then you're correct. So, that, that is a desiccator. So, this one, uh, these few are some, some are created in marble, some are in ceramics. So, let's start with this one. It's called molder. So, when we need to use clay or some uh, solids that can be uh, change into shape, so we use this one. This is a molder. Diba? Ang kasama niya is folder. Oh God, please, no! 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 And then, this one is crucible in cover. If you want to keep something, something is here, we usually use this. And then, we have the spot dish. So, dito natin nilalagay using dropper, yung mga ino-observe and kino-compare natin. Liquids. So, we have the Mortar and pestle. So, and we try to do it big. Diba? Pagalit ka sa exo. And then, take video mo dito. Bigil mo ako. And then, we have the evaporating dish. Okay, so, usually, we place here some uh, liquid with solid. You know, if we want to separate it. And then, we place it in uh, a tripod with fire or an uh, alcohol lamp. You know, with, with small amount lang. And then, we have the uh, ceramic spoons. Or to avoid contamination, we use uh, either glasses or ceramic, not non metal, uh, not metal. Right? So these are your few ceramic and marble things in the lab. Now I've introduced you to the different glasswares and ceramics and marbles. Now let's proceed with some metal apparatuses. And uh, to start, no, when dealing with flames, usually through terrell burner or alcohol lamp. We use the help of these metals to be safer no, in dealing with flames. So either sometimes we use wire gauze, wire gaze, different school, different pronouncement, and a tripod. So we place it here you know, for stability. And yeah, your wire gauze, wire gaze, and then your alcohol lamp below. Sometimes if we want to use terrell burner, and this will not suffice, so we use an iron stand called and I am Iron Man. So, oh my God! Wow! So Iron Stand, and then we we place our utility clamp and iron clamp. So again, during the distillation process, you, I'll show you how to set this up. We have the burette uh, clamp, the burette, you burette, depende, the burette sa yo. your burette clock and again you're familiar with this because we sketch this in it you have the clay triangle and again uh, the iron ring kung gusto mong ilagay dito so pangarin nyo yan sa lagyan ng mga gloves and tara your set up your evaporating dish can be placed here your early layer of plastic hopefully you can imagine this pipe we're not actually doing it in the later part of our sessions so I'll show you how to evaporate some liquid and to get uh, some things out of a certain way. This 
a test tube holder. So, kukunin ko. At ilalagay yung test tube and we release. So, safe. Diba? Kung hindi, magbabahil ka. But you see, what you hold, once you broke it, consider it so. So, those are our blasters. And then, this is a test tube brush. It's a metal. This is the pin. Our test tubes. Ano pa ba? We have our crucible tong. And then, magnet. And then, the spatula. And, yan. That's it for our metals. And, here, now we have some accessories to aid us in preparing our laboratory apparatus. Test tube rack. We have the fork stopper. We sometimes have rubber stopper as well, depende sa test tube na ginagamit. At sa condenser, kung anong size. We also have this lighter. The igniter. In this, this is a gift for your father. Diba? Pag magisisigan nyo siya. Ang pool, diba? Yan ito yung gamit. Mark Beats. Batang bata wine. Magic. We have the glass tube bin. And the rubber tube bin rather. Sometimes you also use glass tube. So, ito yung ginagamit natin for gas and terrible burn. Again, I prepared a separate video for that. And again, this is your aspirator. Ito yung nilalagay natin sa pipe here. So, I was mentioning a while ago. Gagalit tayo mo siya, press, depende sa liquid para makontrol yung pumapasok at isa yung time you can measure it. So, lalagay mo dito, then you'll dip it on the liquid, you slowly release it until such time na pupunta siya dito. So, the proper way of holding it is like this one. Nandiyan yung top mo, nandito yung aspirator. Press, place, dip, release, tapos once, okay na yung liquid na kailangan mo, put a pressure and then finally some distilled water diba? diba ang paglumas? never mind what I just said so these are some utility items and finally we have other equipment we have a digital weighing scale so medyo modern na tayo so taksak mo lang sya and then yan with the least decimal places mawa mo yung accurate measurement You can also use the triple beam balance. So, if you're big, you're going to have to put it in the middle. So, you'll have to adjust it. And how I wish I could show you how to operate this face-to-face. But since we cannot, I'll do a separate video on this one. And then finally, this one, the weighing boat. We don't place the... Some students are actually very naughty. They automatically place some chemicals here. So that's why it's a rusty ang ating digital weighing scale and ang ating triple beam balance. So, nilalagay natin siya dito. But of course, we have to weigh your weighing boat. So that, you can just subtract it to the actual weight. To avoid contamination to the weight. So, there we have it! Isang ikot naman! Mga tobies, ating laban ng mga weight. Okay, let's turn around the normal weight. So, yan. Sabi na hindi ko kayo. Again, since wala kayo dito, hopefully this help you a little bit in getting familiar with the different laboratory analysis. This has been Sir Zello. Thank you, Mama Chimek. Peace out.